What's up, Chantel? How hey, you doing? <laughs> fine, how are you? How your, how your day been? It's going good. It's going cool. good. Definitely cool. busy as always. Cool. So uh, thank you for, you know, taking time out of the schedule, you know, to be on the show. Of course. Uh, ho hopefully you had a, you know, a good day. You know, you got things accomplished today. So oh. appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for having so, me. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, how did you come up with the name Trap Tina? What, what did you, you know, how you get that name? Okay. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So, first of all, to Trap the name of Trap Queen. Like, um, oh. uh, sorry, it's kind of breaking up a little bit. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's kind of like breaking up a little bit, and then y'all, oh, okay. the, uh, the pitch is kind of breaking up. <laughs> is it better now? Uh, it's still kind of. It's still like the camera is kind of still. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Did I have that problem downstairs? Now it's, it's a little, it's, yeah, it's better now. It's yes. better. It's, it's still kind of freezing a little bit. So. Oh, okay. Is that change oh. location? Uh, yes, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. It's just still kind of breaking up, stopping, you know, back and forth. But, uh, we go, we gonna go ahead and keep going then. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, again, how did you come up with uh, Trap Tina? Okay, so <clears throat> again, what I was saying before, um, I go by the name of uh, Shanta Diverse Traps R&B Queen. Uh -huh. Because I do, uh, do R&B and black, <laughs> and we black women are beautiful and we are queens. So I went so R&B Queen, and um, one day, uh, yeah, because yours, yours going oh. in now. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's kind of going in. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Um. So I. Shin. Um. So back to R and B. My radio crew. My radio team. You know what I'm saying? Um. And uh, it was this guy up there called CEO Bailey. Um. I wear my hair different types of styles, and I okay. came in one with this. But years ago, like with this hair, he was like, uh -huh. I tell, all right, Tina, trap, like Tina Turner, you know what I'm saying? And I just, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I kind of figured that, you know, with the hair and stuff like that, I kind of yeah. figured, you know, that's where you got it from. Yeah. And uh, so, what's your background? You know, are you, you know, from the church or, you know? <laughs> but I'm originally, but I'm forever now. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's still breaking up. I, uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, give me two seconds. Okay. Okay. You yeah, you can come back. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Is it bad? Uh, I don't know. What's, uh, uh, say something right quick. Just uh, you know. <laughs> okay. I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out. It's yeah. A little there. Can a, we can we hear each other? Yeah, it just kind of breaking up sometimes, but uh, we, does that we'll keep going. Happen? Uh, it doesn't happen a lot. I don't know if it's the way you you're at. You know, uh, it's not it picking up. <laughs> it might yeah. be my location. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, it's all good though. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, going back to your background, uh. Uh, can you repeat that? Repeat that part because it was kind of breaking up earlier. You hear me now? A little bit. A yeah. little bit. Yes. Yes. A little bit better. It's just kind of breaking up a little bit. <laughs> but uh. Right. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So with my background, um, basically, was born and raised in uh, Chicago, Virginia. Now, music background. Yes, I am from um. Church. I was raised in church. Yeah, definitely raised in church. Um, I love God, and He would never leave my side. And that, and that's how I'm here. 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. And uh, what's what's some of your influences as far as uh, you know, your music? You know, who you really looked up to? So as far as my influences, um, there was so I had a couple phases, right? So mm-hmm. I had my phase really, really young when I first understood that I could sing. That's when I was like eight years old, and um, back then my mom used to play in vogue a lot or whatever. Oh, okay. So I was with it with harmonies. You know what I'm saying? I've learned how to you know what I'm saying? At a young age. Um, and then once I became a teenager to an adult, I really, really geared more towards um what am I now? Lil Mo was my favorite. Um yeah. yeah. Uh and Jack Jasmine yeah. Sullivan too top was really yeah the uh Lil Mo. Yeah, I was gonna say that uh when you first when I first heard you, your voice it remind me a little mm-hmm. more, but I know a lot of people they don't really like people referring them to a lot of different artists, you know, because right. you know it kind of takes away from your own creativity, right? Yeah, so, definitely. yeah, so so I, I definitely heard that you know from the beginning, uh, you know, a little more influence in your, right. in your tone. And uh, I saw your your podcast, I mean, you was on the podcast, uh, Wait a Gam Minute, uh, uh-huh. podcast, and uh, they were talking about uh, you know, Brandy versus Monica. And uh <laughs> it was funny, you know, a lot of people that's outside of music, they're gonna say Monica. Of then, course, that's then... <laughs> that's what I was trying to explain. I, yeah, but that's what I was trying to explain, you know what I'm saying? Cause as soon as I said uh brand new vocal bible, they like, What? You know? What I'm yeah, saying? yeah. It was it was funny, really funny, but you know, it ears, you know what I'm saying, and in yeah. different places um, music yeah yeah so uh yeah uh a lot of people know you know i'm a big brandy fan and so yes you are <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so when they you know when they said brandy i was like wow but you know yeah. us music people we know you know from you know recording and you know recording harmonies and stuff like that we know yes. the difference so yeah definitely and so speaking of brandy and uh monica uh, you have a, you know, a concert coming up, uh, with, do. you know, <laughs> I do. Monica. I, and so, I you know, tell us more information about that. Huh? Uh, tell us more information about okay. that. Okay. So, um, I am actually to be open for Monica, uh, which is a kid and a little more be there as well. I've actually opened up before, um, a few okay. years ago down here, um, I had opened up before um this is just something very huge to me mm-hmm. i actually look up to these ladies you know wonderful singers so um i'm actually it's on my thing and yeah, i have like 15 20 minutes set um I, I i i mean i got dancers i got background um be a uh, background vocalist you know what i'm saying like i i'm really 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 like this is serious for me, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and I'm doing it for myself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of yeah. times people want to impress other people or try to impress, you know, um, and stuff like that. Of course, I'm going to. I want to impress. I'm yeah. really doing it for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something yeah. that I've I've always wanted to do. Do something yeah. big and show and prove to myself that I can actually really go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it, and it shows, you know, consistency. You know, you've been consistent, right. you know, in your craft, and right. uh, you know, stuff is just, you know, paying off now. And you right. know, you yeah. you know, you feel good. It makes you feel good that you know your your hard work has paid off. And uh, right. how you feel about that? You know, you know, I all mean, those I feel, times. I feel great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's been yeah. a long time, um, and I would definitely say uh, most of it is my fault. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a lot of personal stuff that I was going through. You know what I'm saying? I been divorced, you know, ch- like children, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of personal that was going on around the time where I really, really wanted to do music. And uh, that God told me that it wasn't my time, you know what I'm saying? Not yet, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a, an yeah. official no. It was like a yeah. not yet, you know what I'm saying? I had to get myself in 
had to get some things in order. I had to get my mental in order. You know what I'm saying? Because when your mental is not there, a lot of stuff mm -hmm. you touch, you can mess up. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like God say, huh, I think you ready. Yeah. Go on out yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing and, yeah. you know, show them yeah. the gift that I gave you. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, God hold things back, you know, and, you know, it's for a certain moment. Right. And so, you know, how do you balance, you know, life and music? You know, I know you, you know, your your mother and also, you know, balancing music as well. Yeah, I'm a mother. I'm a mother of four people. Um, I actually two different jobs as well. I work for Sotera and I work for LabCorp um, and I do music at the same time too. It's that, excuse me, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely hard. And yeah. like doing stuff like this is not for the faint, but um, I feel like I've been built for. The, I'm a hustler at heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Even as a youngin, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I can't I I can't just sit down, and throughout mm -hmm. times, early music, but I had to. Detrimental for me, you know what I'm saying? I was I, I was depressed, you know what I'm saying? I was sad because mm -hmm. I couldn't do what I wanted. To music as far as getting out there as far as you know what i'm saying because i had to make sure that my person was good everything, you know what i'm saying so um yeah. it's mm -hmm. really hard to balance but i feel like once you um once you once you understand who you are and how you can be connected with yourself and with god you know what i'm saying for like everything will fall in this place you start getting a little bit of balance you know what i'm saying i lose sleep of course you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I'm not able to hang out with friends or, mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And sometimes some people get really frustrated and mad because they, you know what I'm saying? I can't spend time with them or whatever, but sometimes it's just a size and I always believe the turn that if you are a real friend and you understand my goal, understand that you can't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? It's not right now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that that's true because, you know, when you're trying to reach success, of course, your circle is going to get smaller and smaller, you know, as you, you're trying to climb to success. Right. And uh, what's what has inspired you as far as, you know, you're also a songwriter as well. You know, what has and, you know, I, of course, life and stuff like that. But what else yeah. has inspired you? You know, it's crazy because like a lot of times, um, a lot of songs that I write, uh, some of them are not pertaining to me at all you know i say i say about 95 percent of the songs i write um mm -hmm. doesn't pertain to me it pertains to someone else you know what i'm saying to someone i was close to or, or you know a story I heard before you know what i'm saying or something like that yeah. um there is a few songs that do pertain to me um and like songwriting has been like i love i love writing i love creating yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and i love being able to go in a studio and present what's inside of my head and, and, and yeah. have it out there in the open for people. It's going, you know what I'm saying? To write yeah. the same thing that's in your head, able to put it on file. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, yeah. it's so, <laughs> I've been writing for, yeah, for a long time. I, I used to write for, I used to write songs for men, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love writing. I love writing. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you remember your first songs or you know what type of songs it was? Do I remember, song? <laughs> I remember my first song recorded? Uh, say that again. I remember my first song that I recorded. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, it had broke up then. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. yeah, I remember the first song. Um, okay. And when I went to the studio, shout out to Marty the studio that was on um the Haven. That was so, um, first time recording, he was like, wow, how old are you? I think I was like 15, 16 or right time. He was wow. like, man, he was like, you're a pro. Like, you you, you know what you're doing. And I don't have the notes. I don't have to do this. And I don't, it just came now. Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, as far as, uh, you know, a lot of songwriters, including myself, sometimes we get a writer's block. You know, what kind of gets you through those? those writer block writers blocks i i don't lie to you it's still a battle for me to get out of writer blocks i it, yeah. it really is and it's so frustrating because you when you're a creator and you can't create man mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> you know 
something that you need to do to do you know what i'm saying that if you're unable to present that it, it's the most frustrating thing it really is um like i said i'm still trying to figure things out and um, that definitely gets me i have a lot of anxiety in the, it really gets me to the point where i don't, I don't even want to do music no more but yeah. then i'm like oh no you <laughs> yeah yeah and uh a lot of you know situations you know kind of uh you know hinder you from wanting to keep going you know a certain situation with certain people and uh how, how how did you deal with those situations you know dealing with certain people uh not just necessarily in the music industry but people you know you've worked with you know how how did you get over those those things and keep going as far as music can you repeat one more time okay uh you know so sometimes we go through different situations with uh you know people in the music industry or people uh treat you certain ways and you get kind of discouraged from keep you know you know keep going you know in the industry you know yeah. what things have encouraged you to keep going yeah uh, a, a time where i really felt like i didn't have what it but um, because it was a certain crew that i was hanging you notice but Virginia has you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. was a certain of uh, music uh and they were stinker singers and they, they you could tell they were raised and brought it and they say like they from you know in church and mm -hmm. and but the, I really I felt so I felt like I couldn't sing. I, I felt like I just was, you know, nobody wanted to sing with me for real. No, like it was just like, because I didn't have that churchy voice. I didn't have that, yeah. that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a specific type of voice, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, it really something to me for, for a while, for about for about a year. And I, I really started to, to question, you know what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. talent and, and question what God had gave me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, and it seems like a lot. Of, oh, sorry. Um, it seems like a lot of people, you know, in the, you know, in the church, especially the church world, it, it's very competitive. A lot of people don't know, you know, <laughs> you know, a lot of church. You don't sound yeah. churchy enough. Yeah. Or what? I, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, I'm sorry. Going back to the uh, the concert, how did how did you get that opportunity? Uh, to be I, a how did I get that opportunity? It's crazy because um, I had did this one show. Amber um, Hurley had reached out to me um, because let me perform at, uh, Virginia Hustle, Virginia Females Hustle Harder. She was having a gathering event um, where she uh, nominate people and uh, women, women that are doing things that, that are helping each other. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's really dope. I went there and I sung and what a band. Um but the band and everything and um was like, hey, you know, get you on the mic <laughs> show, you know what I'm saying? She was like, send me I can even say to her she, she had already sent off. Oh, she had back to me and was like, hey. You're in there like swimwear. where we got a meeting on this day. We got a meeting on that day. I was like, what? Wow. Oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. that's how I was actually able to go up there with it with Amber. Amber, Amber Hurley. She shout out to her. Um, she's so freaking dope. If you have not heard of her, y'all need to see can't stop on. Yeah, and that and that shows the importance of uh, you know, networking. You know, how okay, how exactly. Yeah, how how important is you know networking as far as you know being successful in the music? <laughs> networking is detrimental because it's not yeah. it was who you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean? like it, it is. I mean, that's what it is. You know, it's and networking is everything because not only you're sitting there for people who you are, but you are able to man, you are able to get bookings, you are able to you know you know just it's is networking is definitely detrimental. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, yeah, I definitely learned that too because I'm I'm not gonna say you know a lot of people that's out there can't sing, 
but I know people that's not in the industry, they could say, you know, <laughs> circles around right. a lot of people that's, you know, that that's actually in the industry. And, uh, and that networking is very important. Yes. And, uh, and also going to the concert, Kiki White is up there as well. And, uh, I feel, I feel like Kiki White is very underrated. You know, she's, is she's she? always there. What? <laughs> She's so wild. She don't make no sense. I yeah. look date, yeah. but she she wanted the hottest. Yeah, but she you know, well you know she had all those babies you know, but she still be <laughs> she still you know she still be going and I, I don't see yeah and I don't uh, have no babies. Yeah, <laughs> she on what she on eleven eleven. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, okay. She she pregnant now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she she yeah. she. she yeah. And so, is she, is she one of your, you know, influence, you know, she, one of your top? Not my top one. Um, as far as looking up to her, actually, like studying her, or anything like that. But I say that she's definitely, definitely me as a great, talented vocalist. Period. Yeah, yeah, Period. Yeah. I say her for me. It's KQ. It's Brandy, of course. Mm-hmm. It is Jasmine for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jasmine Sullivan. You said Jasmine Sullivan, right? The last one. Yeah, 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 ja- yeah Jasmine. Uh, like my favorite album from Jasmine's uh, reality show. A lot of people. Oh, that's my favorite album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reality show. What's and, your uh, favorite song? Uh, I like I like Mascara and I like uh, Masterpiece. I like those those songs. Yeah, I like those too. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw her in concert. Like she sounded, you know, like she was in the studio. Right. You know, at the concert. <laughs> so. You know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna sound like I'm in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, being an artist and, you know, staying consistent, you know, what advice would you give, you know, not just young females, but, you know, all artists that's trying to you know, come up in, you know, in the, you know, the music, the music field. I was, like you said, be consistent. Consistency is key. You have to be consistent in everything you do. Right. Like nowadays, everything is social media, social media, social media. As soon as you select that social media era, it's all off the face of the earth. People are going to forget you. They're not going to remember you are and then the next thing you know you have to build yourself up over and over and over so to see is definitely key in networking you have people who have to be personable you know what i'm saying you have to be friend you know what i'm saying not too friendly you know what i'm saying you don't have to be friendly yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you know like a lot of times um a lot of people don't know how to conversate with people or and, and that's totally fine but that's that's the that's how you grew getting, getting familiar with able to to enter able to just networking really just yeah. networking the more you network you're going to realize dang she yeah. take her or she take her craft he to introduce himself he to hand his car he to hand his flyer you know what I'm saying oh he about to, you know yeah. what I'm saying they can see networking and never never giving up never yeah. giving up yeah and it's a few times you know me being a, a songwriter producer you know sometimes you have those those moments and i've had those moments where uh sometimes you know you send songs send songs to artists and you know they don't accept them or you know and stuff like that and mm-hmm. then that that's important you know you never give up right. because you know, if I if I gave up, you know, I wouldn't get that opportunity later on. And right, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you, you start to see the fruits of your labor. You know, when you don't give up, and right. uh, you know, things happened to me. You know, recently, you know, because I didn't give up. And so, right. yeah, that's that's very important. You know, networking. You know, being in the right relationships as well. Yes, that's that's yes. very important. <laughs> and not so, and not be out here because you know you might. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, how, how can people uh, contact you, you know, as far as, you know, 
if they want to uh, have you for a show or uh, work with you in the studio and so forth like that? No, well, there's a few ways, but my number one way that I tell them, my website, which is www.shantamusic.com. Okay. L L D E R S E M U um the booking and you can e you can email me or you can find uh oh also in that much but we're gonna <laughs> Twitter is trap Tina baby okay cool cool Oh, you said uh, the Twitter's uh, Trap Tina at Trap Tina Baby. Yep, at that's what you said. Baby. Okay, at okay. Tina Baby. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, appreciate you for being up here, and uh, we want to definitely keep in touch. And I uh, appreciate you for accepting, on, you know, being on this show. And uh, yes. and I hope you have a blessed night. All right. Thank you so much. Anytime you're here, just let me. I all right we really appreciate so much for your love and your oh no problem all right hope all you right. have a blessed night all right you do too all right